Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today, um, today's New Year's Day. Although you won't see this for a few days, um, I was pondering what possibilities we could have for the New Year. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, doesn't want to go in. Ah. For the New Year Challenge, January's Challenge for the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And one of the ideas that popped into my head was fireworks. And I thought, well, you know what? If you're going to do a fireworks painting, the first day of the year is... Oops, it's really not going to work. Um, it's definitely the day to do it. So... That is what I'm doing. I am doing fireworks. So, Happy New Year to you all. I will have said this already in another video. And, it's the new year. What magical possibilities are available to us. To each and every one of us. So I'm going to do fireworks. What do you need for fireworks? A night sky. Don't you love it when people have got small children that they're trying to put to bed? Oh, I suppose you guys probably don't have this problem. Um, here in New Zealand, it's summer. It does not get dark until late. You know, we're at 9.30 before it's dark enough for fireworks so you've got lots of people who uh, have small children that they want to get into bed and uh, so yes we'll do the fireworks and you think oh, I've done it myself you know you're like I'm not going to be able to see them they all look like absolute twiddles what is that um but Kids want fireworks and I want kids to go to bed. So, <laughs> I'm really grateful my children are now past their age. It was 9.30, caught to 10 before we lit the fireworks last night. And they were still up to see the neighbours do theirs at midnight. So, they actually had the party last night. Glenn and I had a quiet one. Popped over to the neighbours for a drink, but other than that, it was smooth sailing. And the kids are still at the age where um, a party to them is their mates coming over and having McDonald's and chippies and playing computer games. So that works for me. How about you? <laughs> Some of you are thinking, oh, I wish my kids were still at that age. Some of you are thinking... I wish my grandkids were still at that age, but uh, all good. At least we didn't have to let them off in the daytime, because that's just not fun. Now, what are you doing? My phone is making silly noises. Come on, phone. Stop it. Let me see if I can... Yep, yeah, that got it. That got it. All right. That is just that bit where I was playing with it that's kind of got a weird bumpy thing going on. All right. So, we're doing fireworks. What do fireworks do? They start off, they shoot up into the sky, and they make a single bang. And they explode again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've got Mars Black as our base, and we're gonna have um, just gonna keep it to the metallics. So we've got gold and silver and copper. 
And I thought, as soon as I've got some of this metallic blue mixed up, which is ultramarine and um, iridescent medium, I would pop some of that into each explosion and see what happens. So, let's see. Ready? I'm going to use a straw. Trying not to put my head in it, but it always happens. Well, it's a start. That's a good thing. Um, let's let's see what else is possible. First of all, I'm gonna just carry on this. Red eagling. The gold definitely stands out on the black. The copper's doing all right. I totally lost that spot, whatever that was there. I think it was silver and black, and it just. Now, as far as I know, I have no silicon in any of these colours. Maybe the blue. Maybe that's why I put it in. Give us a bit of silicon. Um, I think I might what else what else um, I need something else in here I think so let's dribbleoticus Gonna put a pile of all of it on there. All the different colours. Just gonna bring that black back in a bit. And then let's give it a really good pop. Uh, I'm gonna Turn it around so I'm blowing in that direction. Ooh -hoo. Ah, that wasn't what I wanted. Dang, dang and blast, blast, firework blast. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so funny sometimes. But only occasionally. It depends on who you are and what your point of view about humour is, really. Let's do another one. Alright, flicking, flicking. Flicking, 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 flick, flick, flicking, flick, flick, flicking, chick, chick, chicky, chicky, flicky. Oops.
We've got fireworks, fireworks. We've got fireworks. Come on and have fireworks. <laughs> oh, how does it get any better than this, guys? What else is possible? Let's just... Gotta have a little bit of... Sparkle going up. All right. Um, now, what is my predicament? I want some little sparkly dots. So, let's see. From a distance. Awesome. There we go. We've got stars even. You guys can't see the stars. Sorry. Look. Stars. Silver stars. Alright. Next step is to torch it. And see if anything... Exciting happens, just rinsing my hands off from that filled with sparkle. Now some of you are going, Michelle, Michelle that's terrible, you're down to the canvas. Oh well, but you can't see the white canvas, so that's, that's fine, I don't mind. any bubbles minimum and maybe even create a little bit more cell action but I doubt it because I don't think there's actually silicon in there silicon but the lacing's pretty cool anyway so just zoom me right in so you can see look at that that'll do that will do 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 I like, I've got a candy cane spiral happening on that one from the blow. You could do this with a hammer as well. I have found that black um, negative space and hammer time tends to end up quite muddy quite quickly. That's why I chose to do blowing. Um, yeah, I like it. I think we will probably end up with quite a funky result once it is dry. That's my point of view. So I will be back once this is dry. Oh, I just wanted to, while I remember, while I was stirring my, um, my copper and see those funky things that happen in a in the metallics when you're stirring and I thought oh wow I wonder if I can capture that on a cabochon make a pendant out of it and uh no no it doesn't doesn't work look let me show you uh let's grab a cabochon so we've got that funky little swirl happening on there I'm gonna oops Where's my cabochon gone? Didn't stick. 
Why is it not sticking? Oh, hold on. Let me dry the cabochon so, so that the um the sticky gluey PV, um poster putty, that's what it's called. Blue tack we call it here in New Zealand. Or we'll stick to the cabochon. So we've got that funky looking design and when I drop it in and pick it out, try not to drop paint on the thing, it just smushes and becomes plain again. It's really boring. So there you go, it doesn't work. But you can make some really cool pictures in these. So have a go. See what you can make. <laughs> so I adore you all and I'll be back when this is dry in three, two, one. Alright, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Bum bum ba la 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 la. Looking fabulous. Looking pretty much how we left it. Uh, but a little bit more vibrant in the metallics. They kind of pop out a little bit more once they're dry. I like it, I like it a lot. So there we go. So that was my Happy New Year painting everyone and I'm sure many of you saw it as I posted it around on uh, Instagram and on Facebook group and all over the place. But you know what, it was fun to do and it kind of fits in with our January challenge. I have never done a straw blow on black background on a canvas i'm going to put that because i just realized i did those coasters that were a straw blow on a black canvas black background um but i've definitely never tried to paint fireworks before so that was definitely a first so how does it get any better than that come join us on the acrylic pouring for fun facebook group um as i just said this month's challenge there's an event posted to the pinned to the top of the group and that uh, is to it's called the no limitations challenge and it's a challenge for you to do something you've never done before so whether it's a type of paint a medium a technique a combination of colors and all you do is you take a photo or a video of it once you've done it and post it into the event and tell us in the comments on it what was new for you. It's all about new beginnings, new creations and challenging yourself to try something new. How much fun can we all have this year? And uh, what else is possible? Yay! I adore you all and I will see you in the next video. Which actually incidentally has something to do with those coasters. Hmm, I wonder what I was doing with them. See you in that video. Bye-bye.